Welcome dear friends to this video. Today I'm going to share with you a rare opportunity that people don't just share with anybody. Usually this kind of opportunity is shared with friends, families and maybe relatives. But you guys are my friends so I'm just going to share it with you. But don't be selfish. If you find this really useful please make sure that you share it with others so that they may also benefit. I'm going to share with you the opportunity which is available for you, where it is, what benefits come with it, eligibility criteria, and how you can actually apply. So if I were you, I would make sure that I get a pen and paper, settle down and take notes because this opportunity is about to change your life. So let's go. Welcome back guys. So today, the opportunity which is available, guys, and this is verified opportunity because I talked to the person who is responsible for this and they confirmed that, yes, they have an opportunity for visa sponsorship for foreign trained dentists who do not have a GDC registration, guys. You do not need to have a GDC registration for this. So now you are wondering, what kind of opportunity is this? Well, let me take you to their website. And for the record, as usual, they don't know that I'm doing this for them or for you. I don't know who stands to benefit more. Is it them? Is it you? But it doesn't matter. For me, what I want is you guys to get an opportunity that's going to change your life. So let's head to their website and check them out. So the opportunity is with these guys here, right? Rodbricks Dental Partners. So which opportunity are they having? It is right here. Pathway Trainee Dental Nurse. And before you jump off, oh, not again, Trainee Dental Nurse, again, please don't miss out this opportunity. Just stay for a short while and see for yourself. So let's go here to the job description. Let me zoom this a bit. again okay uh, yeah i think you guys can now see it clearly are we together oh, that's too much okay definitely they first start by talking about themselves right who they are what they stand for but the part of our interest starts right here the pathway is being designed to support dentists who have graduated outside of the UK, who wish to work in a dental nursing role during their further study. Well, the more interesting part is here. This pathway has been created for overseas dentists who are looking to progress their career in the UK dental industry. With, guys, yeah, I wish I could bolden it. The end goal of being a dentist, right? That's what we all want. The end goal of being a dentist. So this is the difference between applying for, say, dental nursing apprenticeship and this pathway. With this pathway, you will ultimately end up being a dentist. Before you get me wrong, let's continue and find out how. So this is what happens. First of all, as you are working with them, you'll be earning 19, sorry, you'll be earning 11.9 pounds per hour. That is slightly above the minimum wage, which is around 9 pounds an hour during your training as a dental nurse. Okay. And with that enrollment comes a fully funded national diploma course accredited by the National Examination Board, Examining Board for Dental Nurses, leading to registration as a qualified dental nurse. So guys, once you join them, you are enrolled into a dental nursing course at no cost to you. All the expenses are made by this company. Isn't this great, guys? That's why I told you that this kind of opportunity 
people only share with their families let's continue but before we continue if you are getting value in this video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed surely what are you waiting for this is the kind of content that you're going to be missing please click that subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you don't miss videos like this because i'm going to continue bringing videos that are useful guys you will not be wasting your time on youtube if you subscribe to this channel you'll be getting value for your time for your data let's continue they will support transfer internally into therapist or dentist role subject to your gdc registration so this is where the part of being a dentist as end goal comes in they take you in as a trainee dental nurse but once you pass your ORE, they transfer you to dentist role without you having to look for another job or another employer. Isn't this nice? And what I was actually told by the recruitment officer, I think her title is Overseas Resourcing Officer. She told me once you are with them, the course, the dental nursing course is free for you. Your ORE examination fees will also be covered by them. And once you pass the exam and you are registered by the GDC, then they give you a new role as a dentist. And they will still pay you your salary. But there are, of course, conditions. We are going to come to that shortly. Let's first continue with the benefits. Next, we have skilled work visa sponsorship. Of course, guys, if you are coming to the UK, work even as a trained dental nurse you must have a right to work so this skilled work visa gives you that right but you guys the reason why i really like this part is that once you come with a skilled work visa those of you who are interested in settling it means that your settlement years start counting immediately unlike if you come as a student all the years you spend studying are not counted towards your settlement you will start counting the day you get a skilled work visa so you guys when you come through this pathway you will just start counting straight away your settlement time which is five years and then they talk about other benefits here annual leave package retail discounts blah 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 so guys those are the benefits so the next question is who can apply for this opportunity is it everyone well mostly it is an international dentist but there are also a few conditions that you must meet in order to be accepted into this program so let's just find out what they are so let's come down here eligibility to be successfully matched to our international dental professionals pathway, you will need to meet the minimum criteria below. This one we have already mentioned. You must have a degree in dentistry and then you must have an IELTS academic score of 7 plus in debt. This is required by the home office. This one is for purposes of your skilled work visa. Of course, if you have applied for ORE, you also know that even the GDC requires you to have 7 plus before you can apply for ORE exam, right? So everything is in line. And this is the tricky part. You must have completed application for ORE or LDS part 1 or beyond basically they are looking for one an overseas trained dentist two with a candidate number either for ORE or LDS in other words your application must have been accepted with or without passing the ORE it doesn't matter but if you have that candidate number and you're ready to sit exam then you'll be accepted also, if you have done, say, part one alone and passed, that is good. So that's what they are looking for. International dentists who have candidate 
numbers. So guys, if you have that candidate number and you have been trying to book ORE, we all know how stressful and I think I don't have the right word to describe how torturous it is to book for ORE. Anybody who has tried to book ORE can tell you horrible stories. But anyway, if you have your candidate number, this is the path for you. Just come and start working in the UK as you just for your ORE. I don't see any better opportunity anywhere. This is the only YouTube video which is talking about this. If you find it anywhere else, let me know. And guys, you do not have to contact me to link you to anybody. You just head over to their website and apply. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do shortly. But first, let's complete this list. So they have here something else. If you are currently living in the UK on a student visa, you would not be able to start in a pathway role until you have a skilled work visa. Well, you know that last year, the government changed student visa rules. And one of them is that a student cannot switch from student visa to skilled work visa until they have completed their course before it was possible. Last year was the last. Beginning this year, April, completely closed, guys. That's the issue. So now you cannot switch visas. So that means that you have to complete, if you're in the UK as a student, sorry guys, complete the course and then you will apply for this. I'm going to leave the link in the comment section so that you guys, anytime you are ready to apply, just come back to this video and click on the link and apply. And that takes us to the part of application. How do you apply? Well, I'm going to leave the link for application. So once you click on that link, it will take you to this exact page, which I'm sharing with you. And then you will come to this part. When you are ready, if you are interested in the role, the duties and the package, click apply. Complete the registration questionnaire and attach your CV. One of the things I must mention before we end this video is that you must be willing to work with these guys for five years. The skilled work visa is for five years. Personally, I don't see any issue with it. But people who like changing employers might find an issue with it. So make sure it is something that you are comfortable with before you sign on the dotted lines, right? You know, they will send you a document to sign even when you are still in your home country there. And some people advise that it's better you have a lawyer can take a look at it and when you're comfortable say it but uh, sincerely speaking i don't see any problem if they are paying you same rates as they are paying other people just to work with somebody for five years i think that's that would be okay but we are different people so you go through it and let me know so when you come here and say apply for the job You are applying for the pathway to needles. Okay. So you just come, let me unzoom it. If that is even a word. You just come here, uh, put in your first name, your email, confirm this, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then continue. Of course, I haven't put those, so. Uh, and continue so the rest of the application is really straightforward it is questions that you have to give your responses whether you're willing to complete the course whether you are willing to work with them for five years and things like that and of course other details i have seen how it looks and uh, it is simple to feel so what do you think guys have i wasted your time and data with this video if not please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and I know for sure that you will be knowing somebody who will benefit from this information. Please share it with them. Don't be selfish. Right? Yes, guys. So please apply and come to the UK. And when you come to the UK, don't forget to call me up for coffee. Yeah? Yes. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.